Hey, good morning, Echoes family. It's Eric, and I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. <laughs> Rachel, do you know who sang that song? No, I don't. <laughs> hey, if y'all know who sang that song, put it in the comment zone. <laughs> I don't know which way the comment zone is, but post it in the comment zone and you get three points. That's actually a clue. You get three points to uh, mention who sang that song. And if you can tell who, what album it was on, then Rachel will sing three songs for you today. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled because my friend Rachel, we've been um, social media friends probably for a couple of years. So it's cool that our worlds get to collide together. Um, thank you so much for saying yes to leading the Ethnos family and friends this morning in worship. Where are you joining us? I am joining from New York, New York. Um, I'm born and raised New York, Long Island. Um, yeah. <laughs> New York, New York. The town's so nice, they named it twice. I have my friend Jackie, she's joining from Manhattan. I think it's Manhattan, New York. Um, she'll correct me if I'm wrong, but she's joining from New York as well this morning. That's awesome. Also, have you, you have um, your piano friend. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna be joining with my friend Levin. He is a pianist, he is super awesome, very gifted. Yeah, we're gonna be singing some songs for you and playing some things for you guys. <laughs> oh, and can you tell us where, where do you serve in terms of um, worship? Where do you serve church-wise? Yeah, so church-wise, um, I am born and raised in a Malayali church. Mm -hmm. However, I um, recently started going to a non-denominational multi-ethnic church and I've been serving there for about four years. Sweet, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And you're also a songwriter. I know you're a singer, you play the guitar. <laughs> talent. <laughs> that I I, yes, I, I am a songwriter. I do play guitar and very little piano. But <laughs> I have a question for you. Um, during these last few months, you know, we're in this global pandemic. How has God met you or how has God been speaking to you in these last several weeks or a few months, I guess? Yeah, great question. Um, so I think for me personally, it's been um, such a crazy transition of life. I, I think a lot of things have been taken away from me that I definitely wasn't expecting things to be taken away. Um, I mean, nobody was. It's such a crazy time where, where we have to be flexible. And I think God has really been inviting me into this, um, uh, this like season of gratefulness and, and understanding the importance of how, like, how important it actually is to be thankful for the things that we have. So, so one of those things I'm thankful for is my health. Um, I know a lot of people aren't healthy right now and, and that breaks my heart, but yeah, health is such a huge thing that, um, that I've been really grateful for every single day. So, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of healthcare workers, um, in our community and, yeah. uh, you know, they, you know, they've been, um, encouraging us to wear masks and, and yeah. you know, be safe. Um, but we also pray for them because they're out there on the, on the front line. So before we enter into this time of worship, can I ask you to bless our time together? And, and could you say a special prayer for our healthcare workers? Yeah, sure. Okay. Dear God, I thank you so, so, so much for all that you've been doing so far. Um, I thank you for this time that we get to be here together um, to worship you, to glorify your name. God, I thank you for giving us this opportunity to just sit here in your presence. Um, God, as we uh, go into this time of, of worship and, and um, praise, I pray that you would bless it, that you would um, yeah, that it would be a sweet sound to your ears. Um, God, I especially pray for our healthcare workers. Um, my mom is a healthcare worker, so I know, I know how difficult it is to be in that field. I know, I see it all the time, you know, the stress that it must take to go to work every single day, to be emotionally ready and available all the time. Um, God, I thank you. I thank you for gifting them um, with this, amazing capacity to love and to serve people um, that they may not know personally. Um, God, I pray that you would give them strength um, and endurance to get through this season, um, to get through this time. I pray that you would, um, yeah, continue to keep them healthy um, as things don't seem so certain right now. I pray that you would um, keep them safe. 
yeah, just be with them, guide them through everything. Um, yeah, we love you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. Well, there's a scripture that tells us and reminds us that Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. Right. So our hope this morning is that he will meet us right where we are during our time of worship together. So let's do that together.